Shalom Israel, this is uh, Asher Jacob Israel, and um, today I'll be talking regarding the blueprint of the Ten Tribes of Israel. There's a big debate um, This is uh, from a small portion of the Sound Kingdom of Israel. Uh, some some of them who say that um, their Americans and not Israelites, for, uh, they have uh, different reasons why regarding our skin color, our height, some of our facial attributes, um, and uh, other reasons. And... Um, and I decided to make this video because if you follow the blueprints, which is like the curses, the blessings, and if you read a little bit here, a little bit over there, it pinpoints to who are the Northern Kingdom of Israel is from the past until uh, present day and in, in the future. Uh, just like the Most High gave Christ a blueprint that if anybody wanted to um, boast that they were the Messiah, they had to fulfill all these uh, prophecies and events of of uh, what um, the Christ had to fulfill to become the Messiah, and um, so that way no man can say, "Well, I fulfill fifty percent, eighty percent of of the uh, the Bible scripture concerning the the Messiah." Uh, but we all know that one man fulfilled one hundred percent of it. You know, uh, our Savior, our King of, uh, of Israel. And um, but before I go um, on the the blueprint of uh, the Northern Kingdom of Israel, the ten tribes and who is pinpointing it, pinpointing it uh, to. Uh, because it's a given that the Israel as a whole was scattered through uh, the four ends of the world. But when you read the, the courses, the blessings, it uh, it pinpoints to uh, either the north or the south being in one location, as far as the majority are, um, you know, even, uh, even though we are scattered through the whole, uh, through the whole world. And just uh, like the Most High gave a uh, blueprint to the Messiah, he also gave a blueprint to... Uh, to uh, to Israel, and um, before I go to this um, the blueprint that says Native Americans, because I've been in truth for five years and I've done a lot of research biblically and uh, historically as far as the world's concerned, uh, it it pinpoints to uh, my people, the Native Americans throughout the Americas. Uh, but before I go to that, I'm gonna expand more and uh, get the answers to those who say, oh, um, Native Americans are not, are not Israelites throughout the Americans and the different reasons why they give and I'm going to give the answers to those uh, but before I do uh, certain people who are coming to the truth are going to be gang members they're going to have a different background and some of them are going to have a hatred already a pessimistic pers pers uh, view on us they're not going to like Native Americans Native American Latinos so no matter how much they come in the truth and they realize what it is they're not going to like us and like anything else whenever they uh they're gonna find a way to um, find different ways to um, deter or uh, exclude uh, those people. Um, but um, one of the reasons they say Native Americans are not uh, Israelites is our skin color, and um, and that's kind of easy one to answer because to give an answer because when you make a copy, whether it's a hundred, a million, a billion copy, the the, the color is gonna fade away, and the one billion copy is not gonna look like the original. Uh, the original source so as much as light skin would look from black Americans black American push looked light skin compared to Adam so Adam can say the same thing to regarding uh, black Americans he can say let's because I'm pretty sure Adam was the darkest the darkest the coolest hair the coolest hair and I'm pretty sure he was the tallest uh, uh, the tallest man ever because he, he was perfect he was, he was the original so um, and, he, and uh, I'm pretty sure he had like a uh, a, a strong face as well, more than uh, Native Americans, I mean, Black Americans do, and Native Americans do. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, Adam's face he had a broader nose, bigger lips, <coughs> and a, a stronger face. <coughs> and um, so that, that's what we saw for uh, the what answer for the skin color. Another reason I heard um, our height. Um, when you look at the Native American slavery and Black American slavery, it took a, a toll on our bodies differently. Um, Native Americans were slaves 200 years earlier so by the time our strong men rebelled it was already too late you know and whatever left over left was our, our was in our population you know they scattered to uh, the mountains uh, or they hid deep in the in the Amazon and I'm pretty sure there's, there was a lot left of Native Americans population in the cities and I'm pretty sure they also went through, through hell but the damage was done once uh um, they fed us like in a health in an unhealthy diet, the leftovers, and we died from our, our, our genocide. Uh, we died from uh, diseases. 
you know, it changed like a whole completion of our, our physical attributes. Um, what black American slave was different because when they brought from uh, our black brothers and sisters from the west, the west coast of Africa into the Americas, it was to replace us. But Europeans had a 200 year um, uh, head start to master uh, how to um, recycle slavery. So what they did was with our black slavery, which I hate using the, the term, uh, the word, the this term, um, they they bred uh, the healthiest and strongest black slave male with the strongest uh, and healthiest um, black female slave, and quote unquote, they uh, they made super slaves. So you, you had this uh, children who would grow out to be taller, uh, more muscular naturally because they were uh, the um, I used to I used, I used I hate using this word, but uh, it's the word that fully describes the. The event that happened, uh, they bred, so. But um, but they didn't do that with uh, Haitians. They didn't do that with Jamaicans. That's why when you see Haitians and Jamaicans, and the black uh, nations, they're pretty much the same height as uh, Mexicans. Uh, you know, between five seven, five eight. Well, most uh, black Americans are between five nine, five ten, the average. Um, you know, another reason they used to say that uh, Native Americans are not Israelites is a small group in Asia, where they dressed like us. And they even have uh, totems like uh, so some culture, but people just throw spit out there and hope it sticks in the wall, and I realized that um, that small uh, population of three thousand, actually they come to us and like other nations come to us and they because they appreciate our culture they want to sometimes they do mimic our culture, so um, there's even a book about it that that, that group uh, didn't even associate with Native Americans our our senses did not meet, but. They do come over here and they, uh, they like sometimes when you appreciate a culture, you they'll mimic it. So um, another reason uh, they'll say uh, Native Americans are, um, uh, are not Israelite because we're, we're Asian because it's more population Native Americans have slanted eyes. As you can see, my, even myself, I have slanted eyes. But genetics works. Uh, people don't understand how genetics work. They work in different ways. Of course, in certain race, each specific race. You can find attributes that whole population share with physical features, skin color, height, but that doesn't mean that you, you can't find that specific attributes in a small percentage in other in other races because the mixing and because that's how genetic works. So, and the people, especially who are the uh, the small percentage of the black brothers in the Sun Kingdom who are saying we're Asian, they will never mention the tribes in Africa who have slanted eyes, and there are many tribes over there. But if a small, if a small population of Asian Native Americans that have slanted eyes, you, could you say because they have slanted eyes, we're Asian? They have, then that's uh, African tribes in Africa that has slanted eyes. That small population that will make whole black Africans uh, Asians? No, it makes no sense. So uh, I mean, it's been thousands, thousands of years since Adam to now, and people, and even Israel, even uh, the original Israelite. And have been mixing, you know. You, the greatest example is Solomon. Solomon mixed with different um, females from other nations. And all the children that are not gonna come out black, they're not gonna come out looking um, Negro uh, features. They're gonna come looking different ways, you know, because the mixing. And um, and Native Americans have the, Native Americans. There's one um, look that everybody gives Native Americans with the feathers, and you know, and um, you, I'm pretty sure you can picture Native American. But we also have. Native Americans come in different um, facial features, different skin colors. We also have albinos. So if a albino Native American has children with a dark Native American, the children are gonna, gonna come come looking uh, differently. So throughout the thousand of years mixing, we're gonna look differently. But um, so I mean, every time we give answers to all these uh, questions, they say or statement that they say when are Israelites, we give an answer. They go back, they go back, they come back, run them back, and give a a different. Uh, a different state of why we're not Israelites because they don't want us to be Israelites because they have they already have a mindset of why they don't want us to be Israelites or why they don't like us. But you know the Most High War will prevail before theirs, and um, and the blueprint I'm gonna make I make I'm gonna make into slides so it could be easy to to read and and uh, see the pictures and um, there won't be much talking and um, and when you see the blueprint of the Israelites I mean there's more but there's a majority here that you can see. So at the checklist of who are the northern, king, northern kingdom of Israel. And um, God bless and uh, shalom Israel.